Hi everyone, let's propagate this guy right here. As you may know, the Pilea peppermutis is also commonly known as the friendship plant. And this is because this plant is really easy to propagate. It all starts with these babies right here. This plant is rhizomatous, which means that it grows with underground rhizomes. And this is really interesting because it basically clones itself into mini me's. So here is when we go back to the common name of friendship plant because the Pilea peppermutis grows these pups that then we can cut and pot for ourselves or for our friends. So in order to propagate our Pilea, we will need a sharp knife or sharp pruning shears. Remember to always clean and sterilize your tools before you use it with your plant. This is so we make sure to prevent any pests, bacteria or infections to be spread in our plant. Then we want to cut the pup as close as we can from the mother plant. As you can see, these two cuttings don't have so many roots. Uh, we have some here, but not so much. But that's okay because they will grow roots as we pot them or put them in water. So let me show you now. So we have two pups right here. One we're gonna pot in water, the other one in soil. So I'm gonna start with the one in soil. Um, and as always, I'm gonna be using my homemade houseplant potting mix. And for this one, I use coconut coir, perlite, pumice, and worm castings. I'm gonna be adding perlite and pumice just to add a little bit more aeration to the potting mix. Of course, the worm castings will be for nutrition and coconut coir for moisture retention. So we're going to start adding our potting mix here. Just put it right here. And as you can see, the potting mix is very fluffy. This is because it has pumice and perlite. And this is gonna help the roots grow and breathe. Then I'm gonna make a hole here just to plant our first pop. And let's plant this one right here. I'm gonna use my tool here to add a little bit more soil without hurting the stem like that. And there we have it. As you can see, I am pressing softly just a little bit because we still want the soil to be a little bit fluffy so some air can go through. For the one that we will be propagating in water, I'm gonna be using this jar right here. This one is an Old Spice jar and I find it really useful because you can reuse it first of all. And second of all, for these small plants, the opening is not so big. So then the leaves actually don't go inside, which is really great. So all we need to do is add some water to our jar, like so, and place our cutting in the water, making sure that the leaves are not touching the water. I will place them close to this window, just like the mother plant, because she's been thriving here. And they won't get so much direct sunlight, it's mostly indirect, but very bright sunlight here. So which one are you trying? Water propagation or soil propagation? Let me know down in the comments and how it goes for you. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao!